Yo, welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and I've got a stacked week for you guys. Let's start with the collaboration between Nike and Supreme on the Nike SB Air Force 2. These actually dropped today in four different colorways, and for some reason, they didn't sell out immediately, which is weird for Supreme. Yo, if you are a fan of Supreme, or if you are a fan of the Nike SB AF2 Low, then these should definitely be on your radar. You can pick one of the four colors up right now for $98. Switching over to the three stripes, looks like finish line has a triple pack of shoes for you. First, let's start with the tubular shadow. These are going to come in two colorways. There's a trace green and a vapor gray. Adidas is doing a really good job with the tubular, and the shadow is definitely one of those standout silhouettes in my opinion those will cost you $100 also coming from Adidas is the tubular doom sock this version is in prime knit I haven't seen a lot of this silhouette especially in prime knit but looking at the two colorways that they have black and then the sesame they look really clean you can pick those up for 120 the women are actually going to get some love as well when it comes to the tubular shadow as they have their own colorways of the shoe dropping today one is white and one is gray they also do a good job of mixing up the colors on the women's pairs so those will arrive for $100 all right, let's jump ahead to tomorrow where the Air Max 1 collaboration with Wasafu uh, called the Nomad is dropping. I have a, no idea if I said that name right. This pair was created to help celebrate Latino Heritage Month and they were created by the street artist named Wasafu. He's actually Chilean and the shoes were inspired by the owner people of Patagonia who were nomads and they migrated for centuries. He added his artwork to the Air Max 1 as a representation of their self-expression through ceremonial body paint. Nothing better than a really well thought out collaboration. Those drop tomorrow for $150. Now, for those of you out there that actually have Four Seasons, Nike is prepping you already with duck boots. They're going to be dropping the mid-cut version and the low-cut version, and both will come in black or in the olive colorway. This isn't your regular Air Force One duck boot, as Nike is opting to for lunar with these, which is what I prefer when it comes to the Air Force One silhouette. For those uh, that are actually going to cop these, the mid's going to cost you $170, and if you want those lows, well, they're going to cost you $140. Another collaboration that's popping up, which I think that's what you can call this, uh, it's with Nike on the Kyrie 3, the Mamba Mentality, aka Bruce Lee colorway. As I'm sure most of you know, Kyrie is really inspired by Kobe and his tenacity and his ambition, and Nike is finally putting that into practice with a special version of the Kyrie 3. As you can see, the logos are mixed with the Kyrie's logo and then Kobe's logo, and the actual colorway is the Bruce Lee colorway, which you know you've seen on the Kobe line quite a bit. Those drop tomorrow, and they're going to cost you $120. All right, jumping ahead to Saturday, we have quite a few things that are dropping, but let's start with the folks that rock the grade school sizes. They have two pairs of Jordans that are set to release that are part of the Airs collection. First up is the Air Jordan 1. This is a premium version of the shoe and has been given the nickname Camo, which fits pretty well. Those will cost you $140. The other shoe is a great for the grade school crowd is the Air Jordan 5. This also has that same Camo nickname, but the upper on this one almost looks like it's a little bit reflective. I actually really like the way these look. I wish these came in a full-size run. If you plan on copying those, those are going to cost you $160, and you can grab those over at Finish. Line. Switching over to Nike Sportswear, they have their collaboration on the Air Max 97 with Undefeated dropping on Saturday. Now, for the first launch, they're going to have to be in the black and the white colorway, but they're only available at the Undefeated pop-up shop, and that's the only place you'll be able to get the white colorway, actually. And the black pair is going to do a global release, but that's not until next week. So if you want both pairs, you have to get them this week for $180 at Undefeated. Otherwise, the black pair releases next week. All right, for you b-ball players out there, if this weekend you want to get your game on, then the Nike PG1 is dropping in the game royal colorway. I think all the brands are doing a really great job at this low price point when it comes to basketball sneakers, and the PG1 is one of the best out there you can grab. Those will be available over at Finish Line for 110. All right, getting back on the Jordan train, we have the Air Jordan 8 in the black and gym red colorway. The Jordan 8 has been getting a lot of love this year, and I'm not opposed to that at all. I don't have a lot of 8s in my collection, and for those that want to spice up their Jordan signature line a little bit, the Air Jordan 8 is a great option. You can look for those to cost you $190 when they drop over at Finish Line on Saturday as well. Guys, as with every week, I didn't cover everything that's dropping this weekend, but I wanted to point out the things that I thought you would definitely be paying attention to. With that being said, I'm Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Peace.